I grew up loving Garfield. <laughs> I like when I was in grade school, they would bring in like I think once a month or every couple of months they'd bring in these book club order forms and like there'd be a lot of good stuff that young minds should be reading. But I went right to the Garfield section and I would check <laughs> off any of the new Garfield collectibles that would be Scholastic coming. Scholastic book service. Oh, this that was at Scholastic, right? And I would check off all the Garfield stuff and uh, whatever. I also was pretty happy when I heard Chris Pratt. I mean, he wouldn't have been my first choice, but everybody cried and whined and bitched and moaned when he was cast to do the voice of Mario. How'd that turn out? Well, just billion dollar film. No big deal. Um, it worked out. So I, you know, and I like Chris Pratt when he does animated voices and stuff like that. So I was fine with that too. The first teaser trailer dropped and it certainly had some adorable moments. Yeah. There, there certainly was. So this new Garfield trailer, full trailer, Drop now. I got to tell you, it's awful. It's boring. It didn't make me grin once. Not one smirk did it elicit out of me. And I love Garfield. And I love that Chris Pratt's doing the voice. I don't mind the basic idea that he was an abandoned kitten. They did changed his origin story a little bit. That's fine. They was, you know, lost his dad. Lost his dad as a, as a kitten. Finds John, you know. All that, I that's all good. That's fine. But man, when a trailer is supposed to be the thing that sells you on something, I'm not saying put the funniest jokes in the movie in your trailer, but you better make me laugh when I'm watching the trailer. And I was watching this. It's like, okay, we got all the Garfield isms. There should be a joke about lasagna. Absolutely. That should be in there. There should be an OD thing in there. Absolutely. But Rob, I got to tell you, as a big Garfield guy, as somebody who's kind of been cautiously looking forward to this i i did i thought this was dull it didn't do anything to get me excited for it and now, again the movie might be the best movie of the year i don't we're just talking about a trailer i've seen lots of bad trailers to movies that i ended up loving so i'm not talking about the movie but for me the trailer was a big letdown you had a chance to check it out what did you think about the trailer look i was never a big garfield guy I was more of a Snoopy guy. I like, you know, <laughs> Charles Schultz and the Peanuts. Maybe I was even a family circus guy, much as I probably shouldn't admit that now. But I, I thought, like you, I thought this trailer was... Look, we have so much... I, I think now, today, is the perfect time to introduce Garfield and make him more Garfield than Garfield's ever been. Mm. We're living in a world where Garfield can have more to say than he's ever had to say before. And I just feel like this trailer... I want to be honest. I wanted a lot more out of it. It, it was a little too too traditional. I'm like you. You need to push the envelope with Garfield and make him. He was already a bit, you know, long in the tooth when he was new. You know, I felt the humor was borderline. It was all right. I never loved it. I loved more harder edge stuff, and I would like to see. You're more of a Fritz the Cat guy than I'm Garfield a, the yes, Cat guy, right? And the world needs. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> that is very and and the oh no, the nine lives of if you kids haven't seen Fritz the Cat. It's an X-rated cartoon, and you should find it. <laughs> but, um, uh, but you know what? I, I, I again, I can't tell. I mean, I, I don't know who this movie's for. For me, I baby. Mean, for me. <laughs> right the, I mean, I want like to be good. Know. Did you like the trailer, Ray? Yeah, I did. I, I thought it, it. It's not the best trailer, but I was smirking at a couple, couple parts in it. I like, I, I like, um, um. When he's in front of the inside the lasagna box, I thought that was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Oh. I think my main problem with it was that it just it's one of those trailers that again gives away the entire oh yeah plot, like all three acts, almost all three acts. I mean, we see the the origin story which we saw in the in the the teaser, and then uh, we see kind of the backside of what we saw in the teaser where he's rejoining with his father. But then it's like, oh, I'm on the run from this bad cat, and then it's like, oh. Not only are, were, were they was he on the run from this bad cat, now I got to form this super team to rescue him. It's like, how much do we need to see of this movie? Right. And also, I got to say, right. if this is the tone for this film, this film can't go over an hour and 30 minutes. Definitely not. It's just one of those ones where I'm like... But you say that about is, every movie. If, no, no, no. <laughs> this one, definitely. If it's going to be like in this tone... I don't think it'll be more than that. It's got to no. be a shorter movie than, than what we're used to right. lately. I don't know. 
we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash camp Campia50 and use the code Campia50 to get 50% off. That's code Campia50 at factormeals.com slash Campia50 to get 50% off. All right, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to see the new Garfield trailer? I, I personally didn't like it, but maybe you guys did. And listen, I'm still going to hold out hope that just because I didn't like the trailer doesn't mean I won't like the movie. But how did you feel about it? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.